Guess who's back? Mm, mm, back again. Mm, mm. Mo is back. Mm, mm. Tell a friend. Mm. Tell them to subscribe too while you at it. <laughs>your girl mo of all things mo l welcome back to my channel y'all first i just want to say happy new year to everybody who is tuning in to this video today y'all we have made it to 2022 i don't know about y'all but 2021 really did a number on me especially the last half of it like your girl was on the struggle bus in more ways than one but i am here i am back from yet another hiatus <laughs> I just had to get myself together um, and I appreciate all of you loyal uh, Moellians. How y'all feel about that name? I, I like it and I think I'm going to go with it. But I just appreciate all of you guys who are so loyal, who tune in to every single video that I post, no matter how inconsistent I have been in between. I love y'all and I appreciate you guys. And because of that, I wanted to treat y'all this week and I am doing a week of favorites. So there will be a video posted every day this week monday through friday i'm just going to be highlighting some favorite products including some of my favorites from 2021 i know that that year is in the past but i do want to let you guys know you know what my favorites were from last year so i figured we would kick off mo's week of faves with a video that i had promised you guys months ago honestly and i just never got around to recording it mainly because i wanted to try out some other combos just to see if they made the list but nevertheless i am here today to give you guys my favorite styling combos when it comes to twist outs and braid outs and wash and go so that is what today's video is going to be about if you're interested in seeing that then just keep on watching but of course make sure that you have hit that subscribe button your girl has made a lot of progress with the subscribers even when I you know have been inconsistent but I am pushing the gas and let's run these numbers up okay Let, let's run them up so go ahead and subscribe go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you will not miss when I post new uploads all right so I have quite a bit of combinations to share with you guys today I actually have 15 combinations okay so we're really gonna be talking about some hair products today I try to organize my list based on the level of hold let me, let me just say that first if you are no stranger to my channel then you know pretty much what I look for especially when it comes to wash and goes I'm kind of specific on what I like but one thing that you will notice um, is that these combinations pretty much have the same things in common so I like to look for combinations that is one going to give me the definition Two is going to have some good holds because y'all know I really only like to do my hair once a week and not think about it anymore. So I look for hold in combinations. I look for products that of course are going to mix well. Ain't nobody got time to be looking like we are on the slopes in Colorado. Like we don't need no flaking. So of course I need a combination that is going to pair well together. And of course I would like some level of moisture. I don't like combinations that leave my hair looking or feeling dull and dries. Um, I also wanted to say that if I have used this combination on my channel I will be sure to leave those videos linked in the description box. I also tried to go through and find some pictures of me with the product combination in my hair so if I was able to find any then I will pop those in as we go through the list. So number one on my list is actually a combination that I have not used on my channel yet um but I have been using this combination a lot here lately and I have to say that I am obsessed and those two products are from nature's little secret the first product is the avocado moisture cream that is made with avocado oil and butter and then the second product in this combination is their irish moss styling cream this is what it looks like this is the old packaging there has been some um updates in the packaging but y'all when I tell y'all, when I first used this, my twist out, first of all, it lasted for days and days and days. Second of all, I just love the balance that it gave me. It is very moisturizing, but it's not so moisturizing to where there is not a good hold. So that is something that I appreciate when I'm looking for combinations for my twist outs and braid outs. Like I have used some amazing products on my hair for twist outs and braid outs and the first or second day, 
the results look great but then that third day and on mm, it's just not giving what i needed to give but these two products together you're going to have long lasting results coupled with that good moisture and this has honestly become one of my favorite combinations to use for my twist outs and my braid outs so i highly highly recommend this one I have quite a few of my curl friends who are affiliates of nature's little secret like my girl nj everhart my girl brianna from third eye angel trusts of lexus so all of them they have coupon codes so you know just go ahead and go to their pages and use their coupon code so you can save some coin but highly highly recommend this combination the next combination of products that i love to use for a twist out or a braid out actually come from camille rose the first product is their honey hydrate leave-in conditioner from the leave-in collection this is what that looks like and i love to pair it with the almond jai twisting butter that is made with sweet almond milk and honey and that is what this product looks like i get a lot of questions about what i like to pair this weave in with um honestly i love these two together i don't have to go in with another cream or moisturizer before going in with this because this is just so moisturizing alone like these two products together moisture level is insane and because this is a little bit thicker i also get the hole that i need so i can put these two together my hair is going to be nice and moisturized but it's also going to be long lasting and I just I just love these two together now I've been hearing some rumblings about reformulations with Camille Rose's products I can't really attest to that because I haven't done my research honestly on that just because I just have not been interested <laughs> because this product still works fine for my hair now if I continue to use it and continue to purchase it and I notice a difference then that's when I'm gonna be like okay hold up but as for right now, and this is honestly, it's been a while since I purchased this container right here. I have not noticed any changes in how it performs in my hair. So yeah, that's just that. Um, as far as where to purchase these, you can find Camille Rose product anywhere these days. I typically like to get mine from like a Target, something like that, but you can literally find these products anywhere. So love this combination for my twist outs and braid outs third combination I've actually used for both a twist out as well as a wash and go and it is tried and true when I tell y'all these two products together work magic in my hair those two products are from Ajwa Beauty first we have their bail mint leave-in conditioning styler and I love to pair it with their bail mint moisturizing curl defining gel I actually do have a picture of my my curls after applying these two products the curls be when I tell you they be popping like they be popping so so this product right here surprised me the first time that I used it because as you're putting it on it does not feel like a typical gel it actually feels more like a cream but when my hair dries with this stuff in like the curls are just they just they just go crazy they really do another thing that um it's interesting about this gel it leaves a cast but it doesn't leave a super like crunchy hold but you still get longevity in the style as most gels that i like to use i need that crunch in order to get the longevity but with this you don't get the crunch there is a cast but not a crunch so i love pairing these two together for both twist outs and for washing goes i purchased these from sephora now some people feel that ajwa is more on the pricey side and i mean they are but in my opinion they are worth it um i have never had any issues with the products or with the brand itself so I like me some Ajwa and I love this combination. So the next combination that I want to mention is one that I actually had to revisit because when I was first transitioning and um, you know was playing around with wash and goes I did not like this combination but years later um, I revisit it and now it is definitely on holy grail status as far as my wash and goes are concerned and that combo is none other than kinky curlies not today leave-in and their original curling custard I did record a video on this back when I was doing my wash and go series back in the warm weather and I just feel like my results from using these two products just really spoke for themselves Kind of similarly with um, Ajwa, you don't get a super crunchy hold with this, but you do get a cast and your curls do last. If you are looking for a combination that's going to give you a soft to medium hold, but is going to make your hair last, I'm talking about up to 10 days. I got 10 days the last time I used this combination together and I probably could have gone longer I just wanted to rewash and restyle my hair but if you are looking for a combination that checks off the boxes with all of those and you don't like super crunchy curls 
but you want that definition and you want that longevity this is just this combination is unmatched now I pretty much only use these products together I don't really vary as far as uh, you know trying this with another leave-in or trying this with another styler just because I've tried using this with other stylers and it, they, these just go hand in hand they work best together in my opinion you can also pretty much find kinky curly I mean I know for sure they're sold in like your Target your beauty supply store I purchased both of these from my beauty supply store but kinky curly is one of those OG brands they've been around forever and they are not hard to find at all so definitely love this combination so the next combination I think I've used on my channel actually have I used this on my channel I know I've talked about these products I'm not sure if I've used them but this is just an OG combination for me it's just always gets me right no matter if I'm doing twists braids or a wash and go but I specifically love this combination for a wash and go although I use it for both but the combination that I'm referring to is from the main choice and this is their tropical moringa sweet oil and honey endless moisture rinse out or leave-in conditioner I like to use it as a leave-in of course and I love pairing it with this little I, I love this product y'all <laughs> it gave me a little hype when I be talking about it because I love it that much but this is the main choices tropical moringa sweet oil and honey endless moisture pearly braid out glaze so when I first started using these products I use them exclusively for braid outs um, and twist outs because it says that it's a braid out glaze but one day I just happened to try this combo for a wash and go and I just never looked back like I still like to use it for my twist outs and my braid outs but the way that my curls look and feel when using these two products I just I love it it's a main choice gel so you're gonna get some of that stickiness I always experience that with the main choice gels but once it dries down you don't feel the stickiness anymore you just have soft beautiful curls that also have a nice little hole to them not a crunchy hole but there is a hold there and they are long lasting. I usually get a week out of my style when I use these together. But I just love how moisturizing my hair is when I use this. Again, it just it just looks healthy. Like it look my curls look so shiny and bouncy and vibrant when using these products together. I love these two so much and I hope that the main choice never ever ever changes or reformulates these because they are perfect the way that they are. So yeah, love this combination. Again, you can find the main choice anywhere. Target, Walmart, Sally Beauty, the beauty supply store. They are readily accessible, which I appreciate because ain't nobody got time to be going all over creation looking for the products that actually work. So love these. So staying in the main choice family, one of these products should not be a surprise to you guys because I have raved about this product on my channel before. A lot of my curly friends have raved about this product on their uh, socials as well but the product that I am referring to is the main choice is Cheers Gelato and I really enjoy pairing it with their proceed with caution uh, killer curls and brutal bounce four away conditioner so you can use this as a co-wash a leave-in a detangler a rinse out but I like to use it as a leave-in Now I've only used this combination for a wash and go but it is a tried and true combination usually when I'm reaching for the cheers gelato I'm pairing this with it they just really complement each other very nicely I've never used the gel from this collection just because it just seemed like it was doing a lot when it released like the whole one side of the container is one thing then the other side is the other thing but then I was seeing some issues with the packaging where one thing was spilling over to the other thing so I just was like no so that's that's really honestly what made me uh put these two together and I'm so glad that I did the moisture is there the definition is there I mean the curls be popping and they just look so nice and shiny and beautiful when they dry as I have mentioned before on my channel this is a sticky product and it is sticky going in however I like to put a little bit of the shine mist the matching shine mist on top of my hair and that just really eliminates the stickiness so that is just a little tip if you're somebody who likes to use this gel but you don't like the stickiness putting that mist over it really does help with that again I hope that the main choice if y'all watching like just 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 leave these recipes alone y'all can do what y'all want with, with the other stuff like that Amazon or whatever just just leave these alone okay <laughs> alright so the next combination that I want to mention I actually have done a video on this combination before so I'll be sure to leave that linked in the description box but it is my favorite honestly I think this leave-in conditioner is 
in my top five favorite leave-in conditioners of all time mainly because it just it, it does a good job with moisturizing my hair but it pairs well with so many different stylers so this is a goat in my opinion what I'm referring to should be no surprise that is the TGIN Miracle Repair X protective leave-in conditioner I love 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 this leave-in conditioner but I especially love pairing it with the African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Hydrate and Hold Curl Defining Gel now this gel is not drying at all so typically I'm I'm good with just pairing these two and I'm good to go. I get the moisture that I need, I get the definition and the longevity that I need, but sometimes if I feel like my hair is just like extra dry and needs a little bit more, then I will add the curl food, the matching curl food to this leave-in conditioner. I'll add some of this before going in with this gel. But um, whether or not I have the curl food, either way, whether you just wanna do the leave-in and the gel or all three, both combos are bomb when I tell you they are bomb that's, that's just what I mean honestly when I first tried this gel it knocked me out of the park like it is a new favorite but I do feel like these products had a lot to do with that I have not tried pairing this with anything else because I don't need to <laughs> because I just feel like this combination just really works um I purchased this from my local beauty supply store but I know for sure that the Dollar General has this now um and then I got these from Target but I have seen these in Walmart and I have seen them in some drugstores too of course you can get them on TGIN's website and you can get them in Ulta but these three are just they're just a match made and I love the results that I get when using these three products together staying with these two products as a base because like I said they just they just pair well with so many things but I especially love using it with my tried and true y'all know how I feel about this brand of gels it's got to be eco specifically the CBD eco and these two together curls on curls on curls and then I also like with this combination like I get a good mixture of volume too like it's not super 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 defined but it's defined enough to where you know the curls are popping and I'm getting the the lasting power from the combination I know some people have canceled eco I was never one of those people I kept using eco I didn't care what the masses said because eco just does my curls right like eco understands the assignment when it comes to me and my curls if you have canceled eco you have to do what's right for you and your hair and your body and whatever but I have not canceled eco and I'm gonna use it and I'm just gonna use it and that's just it <laughs> But yeah, these these three together, one of my favorite combinations for my wash and goes. Of course, I always pick up my Eco from my local beauty supply store. It's been a while since I actually purchased this container. The last time I got it, it was $11.59, which is kind of steep for an Eco gel. But uh, maybe they've gone down since then. I don't know. But yeah, I, I love this gel. I, like, I, I love this gel. Keeping it in the Eco family, another one of my favorite combinations for my wash and goes is actually this Eco style. This is the curl and wave one this is the pink one um and i love pairing this one with misha's lavish leave-in conditioner it's been a while since i purchased this leave-in this is the old packaging um i think the bottle looks a little different now for this product but y'all when i tell y'all these these two products together just my curls look like jesus himself breathed on them and gave them life that's just how good they look i actually posted a picture using these products to my instagram page and they reposted it a couple different times on their page Mish did that's just how good my curls looked with these two products combined you don't get that weird clumping or the curdling of the products like and eco can be a little finicky as far as what leave-ins you use with it but one thing that I can really say about this lavish leave-in is that it also works well with a lot of stylers just like the TGIN one does so I love these two together moisture hydration definition long lasting all of that yes yes and yes so this eco is priced as it should be i feel so this will only cost me four dollars and 19 cents and i believe this is 32 ounces yes it's 32 ounces i don't remember how much i paid for this because again it's been a while since i bought this and honestly i don't think i got this directly from me she purchased this from another beauty supply store that carries a lot of black owned brands um here in atlanta so i don't remember how much i paid for it. it's been too long but love these two together 10 out of 10 would recommend 
All right, so the next few combinations really only feature one gel, but y'all should already know what gel this is because it is a gel that I have used over and over and over and over again on my channel. I am going to always use this gel, but I did want to show you guys the things that I enjoy pairing with this gel. So of course the gel is wet line. I mean, we, we already knew. We, are, we already knew. This was probably my, mm, I hate to say it's my favorite gel to use for my curls because I, there are some gels that I really like, but it's just so good. And it never, when I tell you I never get a fail with wet line and my wash and goes, never. No matter what I pair with it, it just, even if I was having a wash and go that started off as a fail, if I was using something, didn't have the hold that I like, didn't have the definition that I like, slap this on top of it and it's instantly saved. But one product that I've already talked about that I do really like to pair with this, I love to pair the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In with this. I love how my hair looks throughout the duration of my wash and go with this. It could be a little more on the moisturizing side, that's the only thing, but I do really love my results when I when I pair these two together. This is a very hydrating leave-in conditioner, but I just feel like as the week goes on, my hair just starts to like get a little dried out, but but it still looks great and honestly I could go past a week with these two in it's just I have to find something else to layer in between to keep that moisture level the, to, to where I want it to be but if I was doing a wash and go and only needed to say get maybe like four or five days out of it yes this is a combo that I'm going to reach for because I just really love my results when using these two together Another product that I really love to pair with the Wet Line Extreme is a brand that y'all have probably canceled. That's fine. I'm still using this brand and that brand is Shea Moisture. In particular, I love using the Red Palm Oil and Cocoa Butter Curl Starch Pudding with Flaxseed Oil with Wet Line. Um, I actually have a picture. Let me go ahead and insert it just to show you guys like... This combination does what it needs to do. I really like this pudding because it is moisturizing. It's not the most moisturizing pudding, but paired with the wet line, I do get nice moisturized curls. It's supposed to be a curl stretch pudding. I don't know about all that. I don't necessarily notice that my curls are more elongated when using this product because I get pretty good elongation as it is with the Wet Line Extreme because it is a heavy gel and it weighs my hair down. But it is just something about these two together. They work like a dream. I never get any flaking. My hair could literally last two weeks with these, with these two products and I wouldn't have to refresh it. All I would do is literally pineapple it, go to sleep, wake up, fluff it, and go repeat <laughs> it's been a while since i purchased this jar because i've just been using other things and i haven't been grabbing for this as much but i know that target still sells this as far as anywhere else i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna try to take my time with this jar as i've been doing because i don't want to run out because the thing with shea moisture as we know which is probably why a lot of people have canceled them they gonna reformulate a product they gonna change some ingredients okay <laughs> so and that it, it just is what it is on that so um i'm gonna kind of hold on to this one and you know use it sparingly because i'm not sure if there has been any reformulation but it's perfect as it is right now and it is a match made in heaven when paired with wet line extreme Another product that I really love pairing with my wet line, and this is honestly a product that I feel is slept on, but it's from Texture ID, and this is their styling cream made with cocoa butter and shea butter, and it is uh, geared towards type three and type four hair. I feel like this product is slept on. Like, not a lot of people talk about Texture ID in general. I don't know why, but this product right here. So first of all, it is already a styling cream. So when you put it on your hair, especially when your hair is wet, you're gonna already start to see some definition. But when you slap this wet line on top, it's like the curls just freeze in place and they stay there. I mean, they stay there. If you have unruly, unmanageable curls that tend to frizz up, this is an amazing combination. And honestly, I have used these two products with several different leave-ins. I've used it with my Mish Lavish. It, it works well with any leave-in conditioner. I think I've even used this combination with the Main Choice leave-in conditioner before. No matter the leave-in, I just feel like this combination is perfect for people who have frizzy, unruly curls that you are really trying to get to freeze into place 
love this combination for that love it for the lasting power as well i um picked this up from sally to my knowledge that is the only brick and mortar retailer that sells this i could be wrong but that's the only place that i've ever seen texture id products and the last two products that i want to mention that i love to pair with wetline extreme are from none other than melanin hair care i love to put the leave-in conditioner on first this is their multi-use softening leave-in conditioner and then i go on top with the twist elongating style cream so these two with wetline honestly it's the perfect combination because all of the things i look for you got your moisture and i mean moisture on top of moisture on top of moisture not to the point to where your hair is mushy but i feel like it's perfect because this is such a strong hold gel you don't even get the super de duper crunchiness that you would typically get with the wet line when using these two especially if you're going to use the cream as well and honestly i have to shout out my girl nisha nj Eberhardt because she actually used a similar combination on my hair when we did our uh when we swapped our wash and go routines and i came back after that I was like you know what I wonder how this would be if I paired it with wet line because it did so good with the other gel and I never looked back it just it's an amazing combination it is one that I will continue to use for my wash and goes it's one of those combinations that when I don't really know what I'm going to use on my hair because I have so much shit <laughs> I just will pull this one out by default because it just never does me wrong my curls love this you don't get the flakes and all that stuff even with using three products like they're they're just good they they they, they work hand in hand together and I really love this combination so the last couple of combinations there's only two more left I actually was like do I really want to put these in this video but because the brand has been canceled but this is one of those gels that I struggle with finding products to layer with the gel I love the gel but it is really hard to find good products to go with it that's going to give me the results that I like. Because of that reason, and because there might be somebody else who is really trying to figure out what to pair with this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and mention it. Um, and, and yeah, you do what you want to do with the information. <laughs> So the gel that I am referring to of course is Style Factor Edge Booster. You guys know that I have mentioned this gel on my channel before. I love this gel as far as the amount of definition that it gives me and the amount of hold that I get. This is probably my strongest holding gel that I have in my collection. But again, it's hard to find stuff to pair with it. So the combinations that have really worked well for me, like have worked really, really well. First off is the Myel Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Hair Butter. It works well with it. I have a picture to prove it. <laughs> My curls really enjoy these two products together. And similarly, um, and I actually got this combination from Kimberly Sherelle, but it is actually the Pomegranate and Honey Curling Custard from Myel mixed with the Style Factor Edge Booster. And then I like to use a little bit of the leave-in before going in just to make sure that my hair is not dry because this gel can be drying too. So what I really like about this combination is because this is a custard, this is a little easier to glide through my hair than this is because this is so thick. This is a super thick gel. So when I apply this first, I my curls are already getting defined and it helps this product glide a little easier through my hair so that it does not feel like I am fighting my hair trying to get the product in, if that makes sense. But then even after that, once it has dried, my hair is moisturized because we, we know that this is a very moisturizing line. It's geared towards type four hair. Um, but my curls are moisturized, they are defined, they are shiny, and they last forever, forever. Okay, I know Myel has been canceled by a lot of us. I honestly have not bought a new Myel product. It's been over a year, honestly. But I am gonna use what's left in my stash, including this. So <laughs> when, it, when I'm ready to pull out my Style Factor Edge Booster, especially in the summertime, I love to use this gel in the summertime. I'm just gonna pair this with it until I run out. And it is what it is, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah those are pretty much my favorite styling combinations when it comes to twist outs braid outs and wash and goes and I know that these combinations were wash and go heavy but honestly that's because I style my hair more in wash and goes than anything else and you could use some of these combinations for twist outs and braid outs if you wanted to but that's all I got I want to hear from you guys now go down in the comments let me know what your favorite wash and go or twist out or braid braid out, bantu knots, 
whatever let me know your favorite styling combos in the comment section because i am always looking to try new things together i have so many products and there might be some combinations out there that i never even thought of so i want to hear from you guys okay so that is it that's all that i have for this video i hope that you enjoyed it and found it informative be sure to stay tuned throughout the rest of the week because we're going to be talking about more favorites as the week goes on. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you found it informative, give your girl a big thumbs up because those really do help my channel out a lot. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.